Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to the channel. I got a little uh, video I want to do for you today of some recent pickups I did. Um, my preacher at church, uh, his name is Greg, actually approached me. You know, he had a bunch of cards from the early 90s that, uh, late 80s, early 90s that he was hoping to unload. And, um, you know, he wanted me to look at it, give him some advice on kind of, you know, what still has value, what doesn't. And uh, he kind of let me have first crack at it and uh, so first things first you see a couple of unopened boxes of 89 Donruss as well as what is that 90 Donruss um, so this has a Warren Spawn puzzle in it this has the Carl Yastrzemski puzzle which you know oddly I don't think I have that so one of the reasons why I'm wanting to get into this is actually to to put that puzzle together I know it's kind of weird I literally just the other day sat down and did my um, who did I do? Harmon Killebrew uh, puzzle. And so I, uh, I picked a few things up uh, from him. And I want to show you guys some of, the, some of my pickups. I actually got some uh, team sets of the Nashville Sounds. Uh, that one has Chris Sabo on the front. Um, and that's from 87. Uh, Matt, Matt Noakes may be in that one as well. But there's another one. I had two of those. Um, this one is from 88 and then this one is from 89 I think when I when I looked it up I'll have to go back and look but if you look at it it's got a black border and there is none other than Norm Charlton who actually made it to the major league so I'm pretty stoked about adding these to my to my PC uh, I may wind up doing a giveaway or something uh, on this one of these packs of Chris Sabo if I ever do a uh, I did a th throwback Thursday once for the Nashville Sounds where I ripped I ripped some stuff. Um, I got a couple of packs of, you know, I tell you what the price was, 90? Yeah, 1990 Upper Deck. You know, they started out there, but then it wasn't long. These jokers were $2 a piece, and they were opened, um, and I haven't really gone through them. I just noticed that there was Barry Bonds I thought was pretty cool. And uh, so we'll look at these together. This is my first time going through them. Uh, Hojo, who was a guy PC'd as a kid. Uh, Bobby Rose, Jose Cano, Rick Russell, Chad Cruder, and Roberto Kelly. So um, nothing, nothing too huge in that in that pack. This one also looked like it was open. Uh, so we'll slide these cards out and see. We got a Barry Lyon, Walt Terrell, Kurt Ford, Gerald Perry. Phillies, um, let's see, then got Griffey Sr., Mike Rockford, Gary Pettis, Mike Marshall, the Pirates, who's got Bobby Bow on it, Rick Aguilar, Billy Hatchell, and then Matt Williams was a guy I really liked as a kid as well. So, um, anyhow, those packs he kind of just threw in. Now, this, this box of Donruss, uh, there was a few packs in it. I've already pulled a few packs out. Whenever I mail cards to people, I tend to mail... Uh, stuff with it and um, you know I try to throw in some inexpensive packs just I, you know fun nostalgia whatever and so you know I probably will do some of that um, with with these because I've already got this puzzle it just gives, gives me some ammo right to, to send to people so a few cards that I picked up um, I got this Will Clark the rookies card and it's not in perfect shape, but it's in really good shape. Also got this, uh, looks like 86 FLIR Update, Will Clark. I thought that was pretty awesome. Uh, next card, uh, I got an 85 Daryl Strawberry uh, and 85 Donruss. Pretty cool. Also got this 87 Donruss. It's a Highlights card. Actually, there's two of them. So I got uh, one for Player of the Month, September 1, sets Mets one season home run mark. So um, those are from like a little mini set. Um, had a run on Daryl Strawberry here. It just brought back some memories. This is one of the guys I had poster on my wall of. Uh, Long Will Clark was too, actually. Uh, Daryl Strawberry in 86 Donners. So I got the 85 Donruss and the 86 Donruss. All right, so then there is an 86 Fleer, I believe, of Daryl Strawberry. Oh, sorry. All right, and then I picked up a 
couple of these cards. Uh, there is a Wade Boggs uh, Fleer All-Star Team, 88, which um, you know, it says it was made in 88 from a little mini set. Look at that print hickey right there, man. Just blows up on that card because it's in one of those horizontal lines. It kind of stinks, but, you know, neat card. Uh, I got this 87 Baseball's Best Fleer Wade Boggs. I think I picked one of these up. Uh, JB Sports Cards sent me one the other day. Uh, but like I said, I can't. You can't have too many of the guys at your PC. And then there is an '89 Upper Deck Will Clark. So that was a nice PC addition. And then the last card uh, I picked up is this card right here. I got the '85 Fleer of Dwight Gooden, a rookie card, already in a case and everything. It looks to be in really good shape. Uh, centering is, is pretty good. I guess it may be a little low. I think the border's a little bigger at the top. But anyhow, it was one of those things, man. It was there, and I, I looked at it, and so I picked that up. So honestly, I hope to pick up some more uh, stuff from him. I saw what he had. He's got some Don Mattingly cards and some other things that I'd really like to get. So um, but anyhow, this is going to be uh, my video for today. And I appreciate you checking it out. And uh, guys, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, we will catch you on the next video. Thanks.